From the moment that humankind first looked up at the night sky, we've been captivated by the stars. The allure of the unknown, the infinite possibilities, the sheer vastness of it all. This fascination, this longing to understand and explore, has driven our species to some of its greatest accomplishments. We've come a long way since our ancestors first studied the stars. From the early days of astronomy, through the space race, to our continuous presence aboard the International Space Station, and even the rovers we've dispatched to other worlds, our journey into space has been a testament to human curiosity and determination. And today, we stand on the precipice of a new era. The dawn of private space companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin has triggered a renaissance in space exploration. They're pushing the boundaries of what we once thought possible, and they're doing it at a pace that's nothing short of breathtaking. But as we look towards the future, what does it hold for us? What will space travel look like in the decades to come? What new frontiers will we explore? And what challenges will we face? We set foot on Mars, or even further afield? Will we find signs of life elsewhere in the universe? Will we learn to live among the stars? Or will we remain forever earthbound, looking up in wonder? I'm your host, Gus. And today we're going on a journey, a journey into the future of space travel. When we look up at the night sky, we are not just seeing stars. We are seeing possibilities, opportunities for discovery, exploration, and perhaps even new homes. At this very moment, about 408 kilometers above us, the International Space Station orbits the Earth. It's been continuously inhabited since November 2000, serving as a home and research lab for astronauts from all over the globe. The work done aboard the ISS helps us understand how humans can live and work in space over long periods. These spacefarers are conducting important experiments, such as growing plants in microgravity, studying the effects of space on the human body, and even investigating manufacturing human organs in space. They're also maintaining and upgrading the station systems, like installing new solar arrays, to ensure that the ISS continues to function as humanity's outpost in space. While humans are maintaining a presence in low Earth orbit, our robotic emissaries are venturing further. On Mars, rovers like Perseverance are exploring the Red Planet, searching for signs of past microbial life and studying Mars' geology and climate. In fact, one of Perseverance's most exciting projects involves attempting to produce oxygen from Mars' carbon dioxide-rich atmosphere, which could pave the way for future human missions to the Red Planet. Meanwhile, here on Earth, private companies are revolutionizing the way we reach space. SpaceX, founded by Elon Musk, has made significant strides with its reusable rockets. These rockets are designed to return to Earth after delivering their payload to space, dramatically reducing the cost of launching objects and potentially people into orbit. SpaceX's Starship, currently in its testing phase, is being designed with the ambitious goal of carrying humans to Mars and other destinations in the solar system. Meanwhile, Blue Origin, founded by Jeff Bezos, is aiming to make space more accessible through its new Shepard suborbital rocket, intended for space tourism. Blue Origin is also developing the new Glenn, a heavy lift orbital rocket. There are other players in the private space race too. Companies like Rocket Lab, Ariane Space, and many others are launching satellites and other payloads to space, providing services for a booming space industry. And yet, this is just a glimpse of the current state of space travel. In the grand scheme of the cosmos, humans have barely begun their journey into the unknown. Yet, technological advancements are redefining what is possible in space travel. So, what can we expect from the technology of future space travel? Let's start with advancements in rocket technology. Companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin are making reusable rockets a possibility. They're transforming space travel from a one-shot affair to something more akin to airline travel, drastically reducing costs and increasing the frequency of missions. But chemical rockets aren't the end game. Scientists are working on advanced propulsion systems, like ion propulsion, which uses electric fields to push ions out of the back of a spacecraft. It's more efficient than chemical propulsion, ideal for long-duration missions. Then there's nuclear propulsion. Imagine a spacecraft propelled by the power of nuclear reactions. These engines could significantly cut down travel time to distant planets and beyond. Now what about the spacecraft themselves? To venture deeper into space, we need habitats for long-duration travel. Imagine self-sustaining ecosystems that can recycle air, water, and waste, with hydroponic farms providing fresh food. Space is a hostile environment. 
Future spacecraft will need advanced radiation protection to shield astronauts from harmful cosmic rays. This might come in the form of magnetic field generators, or even bacteria engineered to consume radiation. Communication is another major aspect of space travel. Scientists and engineers have been working on laser communication technologies that can transmit data over vast distances at the speed of light, making real-time conversations possible, even between Earth and Mars, which is mind-blowing. Even more exciting is the potential for quantum communication. This technology, while still in its infancy, could theoretically allow for instantaneous communication over any distance, thanks to the bizarre phenomenon of quantum entanglement. All that sounds impressive, right? But also very expensive. So, how exactly does the economics of space travel really work? Companies like the previously mentioned SpaceX, Blue Origin, and also Virgin Galactic, are pioneering a new era of space exploration. Instead of building a rocket for single use, as was the standard in the past, these companies are designing rockets that can return to Earth after delivering their payload, to be used again in future missions. This approach has led to a significant reduction in the cost of launching a kilogram into space. Today, a SpaceX rocket launch can be 97% cheaper than a Russian Soyuz ride cost in the 60s. The fall in costs has also opened the door to a new market, space tourism. A seat on a suborbital flight with Virgin Galactic or Blue Origin can cost between $250,000 to $500,000. It's a high price for an out-of-this-world experience but one that an increasing number of people are willing to pay. And there's serious money in this new industry. In 2022, the space tourism market was valued at $695.1 million, and it's expected to grow at a compound annual growth rate of over 40% from 2023 to 2030. But it's not just about short-term profits. The space industry is making significant investments in research and development, with a focus on creating orbital and suborbital vehicles that can support regular space travel. These investments, while substantial, are based on the belief in the industry's exponential growth. As we look to the future, the economics of space travel will continue to evolve. The potential for extended orbital stays, moon landings, and even Mars colonization could fundamentally change the financial dynamics of space travel. But what scientific challenges and possibilities will we face as we strive to venture beyond the boundaries of our home planet? First and foremost, let's talk about us, humans. We've evolved in Earth's gravity, and our bodies don't particularly like it when we mess with that. Zero-G environments can cause bone density loss, muscle atrophy, and issues with our cardiovascular and immune systems. And even on a planet like Mars, with about a third of Earth's gravity, these issues persist albeit in a less severe form. Any long-term mission or colonization effort will have to deal with these problems. Possible solutions could involve artificial gravity using centrifugal forces, or even genetic or biomedical enhancements to adapt humans to these new environments. Mars is an enticing target for exploration and colonization, not only because of its relatively hospitable conditions, but also due to the presence of ice, which can provide water, oxygen for breathing, and hydrogen for rocket fuel. Setting up a self-sustaining colony there will be an enormous challenge, requiring us to master in-situ resource utilization, essentially living off the land, in an alien environment. Beyond Mars, the icy moons of Jupiter and Saturn, such as Europa and Enceladus, may harbor life in their vast subsurface oceans. Future missions, like NASA's planned Europa Clipper, could help us answer the tantalizing question, are we alone in the universe? And then, of course, there's the final frontier, interstellar space. The stars are so far away that even at light speed, currently a theoretical impossibility, it would take us years to reach even the nearest ones. Various concepts have been proposed to tackle this issue, from warp drives and bending space-time around a spaceship, to so-called generation ships, where multiple generations of people live and die during the journey. Astrophysicists have even proposed harnessing the power of black holes for propulsion, but these ideas remain purely speculative and currently beyond our technological reach. Still, the science of future space travel pushes us to dream big. We've come a long way since the Apollo era, and yet, we're only just scratching the surface of what's possible. While it all sounds fascinating, imagine for a moment that we've successfully established colonies on the Moon, Mars, or even further into our solar system. These would be incredible feats of human engineering and perseverance, 
but they also raise a number of social, ethical, and legal considerations. Firstly, who would these off-world colonies belong to? The Outer Space Treaty of 1967, which has been signed by all spacefaring nations, states that no country can claim sovereignty over celestial bodies. But does this mean that a space colony is a land of no man? Or could the country that established the colony claim jurisdiction over it? This brings us to the fascinating field of space law, which is currently being developed to address such questions. As we push further into space, these legal considerations will become increasingly important. You see, beyond legal considerations, what about the social implications? Who gets to go to space and why? Today, astronauts are highly trained individuals who undergo rigorous selection processes. But in a future where space travel is more commonplace, we could see a more diverse range of individuals making the journey. The social impact of space travel also extends back to Earth. Much of the technology we take for granted today, from GPS to weather satellites, came about as a result of space exploration. As we continue to explore and develop new technologies for life in space, we can expect to see more of these spin-off technologies benefiting life on Earth. And let's not forget the inspirational impact of space travel. The Apollo effect, where the excitement of the moon landings led to a surge in students choosing STEM subjects, is well documented. As we push further into space, we can expect to inspire new generations of scientists, engineers, and explorers. The future of space travel is indeed exciting, brimming with potential, and it's right around the corner. But remember, every giant leap for mankind begins with a single step. And that step starts with curiosity, with education, with a sense of wonder about the universe we live in. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed this journey, please give us a thumbs up, share this video with fellow stargazers, and subscribe to our channel for more voyages into the cosmos. Until next time, keep looking up, and remember, the universe awaits.